As Christians, the reason why we don't know how to cash in on our wealth is because no one ever taught us or we don't recognize what we have or we just don't believe. Listen, we are wealthy beyond any measure. And it's a shame that most of us believers don't know how to benefit from our wealth. So you may say, what and where is this wealth? You said, I have. The wealth you have is the promises. Listen here, the promises of God. But there is a condition to obtaining this wealth and cashing in on it. And that condition is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Stay with me now. Because once you have accepted Jesus, you have become rich beyond what you ever could imagine. You are valuable. But you say, I've done that. I've accepted Jesus and I don't have any wealth. Now, see, I'm not just talking about financial wealth or material things and family. I'm talking about the wealth from the promises that God, that only he can give. He promised to save you once you accepted him. He promised that you are a child of his and this made you valuable. And because you are a child of God, he promised you an inheritance. Listen, God promised to save you from lust. He promised to never leave you or forsake you. He to send you a comforter, the Holy Spirit. He promised to give you strength. That's what Isaiah 41, 9 through 10 talks about. He said, I will strengthen you. He promised to supply all your needs. Read it in Matthew 6, 25. He promised to meet your dailies. So why worry? Why worry? about tomorrow because God promised to take care of your tomorrow. So don't worry or be anxious for nothing. But how do you cash in on these promises? Prayer is one of the ways. We must stop looking to others to meet our needs. We must ask, seek, and knock so the door will be open to you. God is the only one that will listen and we can make our requests known and he will answer your prayers. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. That's what 1 John 5, 14 through 15 says. We can run to God for any and everything. Just think how God must feel when we stand on his promises and claim them for ourselves. Everything you need, God has already provided for. He will not withhold it from you if you walk uprightly and this by the way, is a promise that is conditional. That if you live a godly life, whatever you need, he will not withhold no good thing from you. But you must walk in a godly life. Read it in Psalm 68, 19. It says, Blessed be the Lord who daily load us with benefits even the God of our salvation. We must not let the devil to burden us down with stuff. God is the burden bearer. That's what Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 says. You can place all, all of your cares on, on Jesus. His yoke is easy and no matter what you go through, every trial he sets a limitation. First Corinthians ten thirteen.
talks about that because God promised that he would not allow you to be tempted above that you are able to bear. But listen to this. He says, but with temptation also he makes a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. God also promised to grant you wisdom. That's what James 1 through 5 through 6 says. God says, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all generously. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. God also promised healing for us. Turn to Psalms uh, chapter 103 verse 2 and 3 and read it for yourself. It says, praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all iniquities and heals all your diseases. Listen, he says, and heals all your diseases. So why would you doubt that? Why would you forget the benefits that God promised you? God promises to give you the desires of your heart. So how do we delight in the Lord? Here's your answer. It is to know, love, and serve God. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. That's what Psalms 37, 4 says. Listen, God says that he is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. That's Psalms 46, 1. We also have the promise of his presence. That's Psalms 32, 8. Eight, because he said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Listen, God sees everything and he is there guiding you with his eye. To the believer, come on people, we have to start cashing in on this wealth. These are God's promises. This is the wealth. God's promises, his benefits to us, his blessings to us, and God is a God that never change. Another promise from God is that nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. He said, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans eight thirty eight thirty nine. 39. I think it's time. We start learning how to cash in on the wealth of God promises being a child of God's. We are a member in God's family once we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. God has made promises to us in his word. He sent his word to us and his word cannot come back void. So stop talking about what you don't have and cash in on God's promises by believing God's promises. Stop running to the casino trying to get money from it. Stop running to the pawn shop trying to get money from man. Stop going to the crack house thinking that you can't get well. Stop trying to do all these fundraisers and GoFundMe pages when God has all the funds. As Christians, we need to start running to God first in the name of Jesus. Put him first and the rest shall follow. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. Through our knowledge of him, 
who called us by his own glory and goodness. That's Second Peter 1 and 3. Everything we need to live godly life comes through knowing God. Don't get me wrong. Peter doesn't promise life will be easy or carefree. He does say that we have everything we need to not just survive, but thrive in a life that experiences Christ. Through Jesus, through these, Jesus has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature. That's 2 Peter 1 and 4. And so this is how you cash in on your wealth through the promises of God. Amen. Now I don't own the rights to the music or the graphics, but I thank God for them. I'm Minister Sharon Ford of Spiritual Care Southfield. May the Lord be with you until we meet again. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Cash in on the benefits of God's promises. Amen and amen.